Hello students. Today we are going to begin the next top topic important in the second unit that is principle of inheritance and variation. And this topic is also very important from annual examination point of view also and CET point of view because most of the questions are asked about seven to eight eight questions will be asked in NEET, CET, even in the theory also it is having 10 marks weightage, 10 marks weightage and then uh, this uh, in this chapter our question will be asked for 1 mark, 2 mark and even 5 mark. So 5 mark questions, 5, 5 marks questions will be there. So it's very important to focus our attention on this topic and uh, let us begin the topic from the introduction that is principle of inheritance and variation. So how to define this topic inheritance and variation? So this topic comes under genetics. Then we have to define what is genetics and uh, let us define what is genetics. So genetics is the branch of science that deals with the study of inheritance and variation. It's a very simple definition as you might have studied at the school level. Genetics means study of genes. That is the literally we speak genetics means study of genes. But more scientifically, more precise definition we can give the definition that is it is a science that deals with the study of inheritance and variation. Okay. So here two words are there inheritance and variation. In the title also you can see principles of inheritance. So what are the principles of inheritance and variation? For that sake, we have to understand what is the meaning of inheritance. Here, inheritance refers to what? Let us define the inheritance as well as variation. So, in the genetics, we come across inheritance. So, what is that? It is a process by means of which the characters are passed from parents to offspring, generation after generation. See here, we all are human beings or homo sapiens. So we give birth to our young ones and those young ones will be almost, sometimes they will be uh, similar or dissimilar. Okay, they are not uh, similar in all aspects. Somewhere they are differ from each other. Our offsprings are differ from ourselves. Even we are, uh, we are also differing from our parents. Somewhere we are differ. Though we are the siblings or offsprings of our parents only, but somewhere we are differing from each other. Okay. So that is known as variation. But inheritance means what? Inheritance means the characters are transmitted. That is transfer of characters. Those characters may be either, either behavioral character or external characters or genetical characters. And those characters may be in the form of disease also. And those characters are transmitted from our parents to the next generation. So this trend of passing the characters from parents to offsprings progeny means offsprings from gen from generation to next generation that process is called as inheritance inheritance simply it is the passing of characters from parents to offsprings generation after generation that pattern is called as inheritance is it clear now so inheritance it's very clear now and then what is variation then so variation is very important and uh, variation is a, first of all variation means what? Variation means change. The literal meaning of variation means what? It is a change. So why the change occurs? You might have seen in the, within the same family, within the same family, if a parents have three children, all the children, they are born to the same parents, but somewhere the three children are not, 100% they are alike. Somewhere 1%, 2%, they are dissimilar from each other. To what extent they are different from each other, we don't know. But somewhere they are differing from each other. Even the twins also, if you consider twins also, they are not alike 100%. Somewhere they are differing. Some character will be there to differ from each other. So that extent, that degree, see here, it is a degree in by which the offspring differ from their parents. Degree means the amount by which the offspring are Differing in, from their parents. That to what extent they are differing from their parents. That degree or the extent. The extent of a, 
difference to what extent they differ from their parents that is called as variation so how the variation is occurring if you are going to study the detail aspect of the variation so variation is a chain that that occurs after the when the offsprings are produced from the through the reproduction in the offsprings some characters are going to differ and the minor differences the minor differences that exist between the offsprings as well as the parent is is called as variation so variation simply it's a degree by which offspring differ from their parents okay the minor differences that exist among the parents and offsprings is called as variation and why the variation occur do you know the variation occur because of the characters some characters i mean the offsprings are produced by the union of father as well as mother genes i mean gamete when the parent both the parents gametes are going to fuse with each other the zygote is going to form from the zygote only the offsprings are producing means 50% of the characters are originated transmitted from the mother and 50% characters are originated are transmitted from the father this 50 50% of both the parents i mean both father as well as mother they combine and then the offsprings are going to acquire those characters but those characters are not 100% they are similar they are similar but to to some extent they are differ from their parents that difference is called as variation why it is called why it is formed variation is formed because of the sexual reproduction here one sentence is there it is inheritance is the basis of heredity okay and uh, this uh, uh, variation is what is the significance of variation the significance of the variation is is uh, responsible for the evolution so it is a raw material for the evolution so today we are observing the evolution we have studied evolution the gradual change in the organism so which is a raw material for the evolution the main raw material for the evolution is that is variation so variation is a raw material for the evolution okay so this is all about the definition of inheritance as well as variation and here one more point we have to focus here so if you with reference to the with uh, reference to the that is uh, history so we have to learn some historical aspect of this topic that is genetics for the first time it was a gregor john mendel see it was a gregor john mendel who is regarded as a father of genetics do you know why he is regarded as a father of genetics because he was the first person to give the genetical information and the characters are inherited from the parents to offspring the whole the basis that is a whole fundamental concept of a genetics was given by gregor john mendel only and he was the first person to use the mathematics in a biology okay he was the person to explain the biology with the help of with the aid of a maths as well as um, that is with the help of maths okay so thus he was a person to give the fundamental aspect of the genetics of genes and all and hence he was regarded as a father of i mean he is regarded as a father of genetics and the term there is one more term that is genetics this term was given by the scientist by name batson see gregor john mendel is regarded as the father of genetics because of his contribution towards the genetics and batson also batson also is a person who gave the term genetics so these two terms are different okay then there is one more concept that is the main cause for the variation what 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 is the cause for the variation i already told you it is by means of uh, sexual reproduction the characters are inherited and that is the main cause for the variation that is it was during the uh, between the before the christ that is between 1000 to 8000 during this century before the christ from 8000 to 1000 bc uh, it is uh, early that is human human was he was knowing that he knew that early as a 8000 to 1000 bc that one of the cause for the variation that is one of the main causes for the variation was that was hidden in the sexual reproduction 
Now we are learning what the variation to the change. That change lies in the hidden in the process called sexual reproduction. If sexual reproduction does not occur, then there is no variation. So variation occurs through the sexual reproduction only because of the because of the combination of father as well as mother characters genes. The exchange of genetic material takes place here. So during the uh, sexual reproduction. The gamete formation occur and then uh, the haploid gamete of father, haploid gamete of mother combine together and there the zygote occurs, zygote undergo division, mitotic division. But uh, during all the phenomena, what happens here? Here the exchange of genetic material, the meiosis, during the meiosis, paternal, maternal chromosomes in the first year you have learned, no? Paternal chromosome, maternal chromosome come nearer with each other and they exchange the genetic material. So because of this exchange of genetic material between the father and the mother, that variation is going to occur in the offspring. That is, the, what, what, caused the, what caused the variation? The main cause for the variation is sexual reproduction. This word is key point. This is a key point you must remember. The cause for the variation is sexual reproduction. And it is the variation that forms the raw material for the evolution. That forms the raw material for evolution. So, for the evolution to occur, variation is necessary. And for the variation to occur, inheritance is necessary. And for the inheritance, sexual reproduction is necessary. Thus, they are interlinked with each other. So, the characters are transmitted from generation to generation. So, this is the whole concept about the introduction to the genetics. In the forthcoming class, in the forthcoming video, we are going to discuss about the experiment conducted by, uh, that is Gregor John Mendel. So why, what, uh, what is his contribution? That is the Mendel's law of inheritance. Mendel's law of inheritance. In detail, we are going to discuss in the next video. We will stop.